So I'm getting on my bed. I'm grabbing my journal, which is really my idea book. Hello, my name is Larice. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And today I am doing a video journal. Literally, I'm journaling and I video recorded myself. So here I am trying to figure out what's today's date. It is the 28th. It was the last day of February. Oh, I have some fluff on my pen, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, today is the first time I've journaled in a long time. I am feeling overwhelmed with my job and my family life. Living under these conditions has not been easy, especially in a panoramic. <laughs> Can't say what it is because, you know, the people get scared or whatever it is. Um, I'm writing today to finally release my frustration onto paper. I've forgotten how much I love to journal. Like, this has been my go-to since I was a little girl. This wasn't what I wrote, but this is like just me filling you in on what's going on. Um, so to continue on with what I wrote, this has always been my best way of communicating with myself. I took a shower before this and made sure to apply lots of Vaseline. I know Vaseline is not supposed to be used for your lips because you know crude oil or whatever and not a good brand I know I gotta find a substitute if you know any good brands please let me know substitute them for me <laughs> by putting them in the comments all right all right let me stay focused um so I put a lot of Vaseline on my lips because you know my poor lips are chapped due to the brutally awkward cold slash warm weather happening now in New York. If you know, you know what I'm talking about because this weather is just unpredictable, it's uncomfortable, and you're always being put to the test. It's like, hmm, do I wear shorts today or do I wear a coat? Because, you know, during the day it's gonna be like 75 and then at night it's gonna go down to negative 16 degrees with wind chills and possibly a wind storm. So, you know, that's New York. That's what it looks like right now. <laughs> Oh man, New York is something different, man. I just don't know. Um, let's see here. Oh man, I'm feeling stuck. I don't know what else to write. I'm kind of confused, I'm taking a break, I'm trying to gather my thoughts. Yes, I'm one of those people that looks up into the sky and gets their ideas. Um, let's see. Hey, I can see my blue socks that one very special person gave to me once and the supervisor was like super fantabulous like this woman was over the top amazing like she just created a community within a community in a school and it just felt like a little village outside of what the world really is like she just made everybody feel like they were together like they were one we were in unison and at times you know of course everybody fights sometimes but like she would always get everybody back on track she was very inspirational and she just always knew what to say <laughs> she was like the oracle I don't know like she just always knew what to say when to say it how to do things she was like a martyr she was revolutionary Oh, I just remembered it's Women's History Month. And yes, this is me noticing the socks and finally remembering what to write down. This person is special to me because she told me to stop doubting myself because I know what I'm doing and what I need to do. She noticed that when she was providing me with like my yearly evaluation that she noticed that I was hesitant and that I wasn't doing what I knew I could do. She knew that I knew what I could do, but I wasn't executing it because I was afraid of what would happen. I was afraid of people reacting to me or saying something or judging me or just critiquing in general. And I was so worried about seeking approval from others that I got lost in my thoughts and forgot to remember like, girl, you know what you're doing? Like, just do it. <laughs> you are, I am 
somebody who knows what they're doing. I finally realized how important it is to honor yourself on a regular basis. Stay true to what I believe in, what I want, who I know I will become. My goal is to be able to inspire policy change in regards to sexual violence. And I feel as though the steps that I'm taking right now in this clinical practice are guiding me in the right direction. Ultimately, all of the career paths that I've chosen have always been to protect children and to ensure child safety. That's always been the priority of all of my jobs. And that's something that I love. I love to do this work. I'm very passionate about it. And sometimes I forget about myself because I care so much about everybody else. In order for me to provide effective work and efficient services to all of the families that I'm providing services to now, I need to make sure that I'm taking care of myself. I need to make sure that I'm honoring myself and what, I, what is true to me, what I need to do to get things done. It's sad that I had to, it's not, actually it really isn't sad. I'm actually glad that I've gotten to the point of burnout to the point where I recognize like, hey, you have not been taking care of yourself, you're not feeling like yourself, and you need to get back to who you are. And that's what I'm doing. Journaling really is that thing for me. <laughs> I have to continue to have faith that I'm on track to being who I want to be. Love, Larisse, your best friend. <laughs> that's it, guys.